Hi, Fireflies. I have a story to share with you today. My story is about Lucy. She's a firefly, and she learns that even though she's very tiny, she has a unique special job to shine as brightly as she can in the forest. My story is called Lucy's Light by Margarita Del Mazo and Sylvia Alvarez. When the sun has set, silence falls over the big forest and all of the nighttime animals wake up. In the trunk of a big, strong tree lives Lucy. She is the youngest member of a family of fireflies. The night always lets them know it's on the way because it doesn't like to catch them by surprise. Here I am, the night says. Then all the nighttime animals know it's their turn. Lucy carefully watches as her family gets ready. They wave their bottoms in the air, wiggle their feelers, take a deep, deep breath and sing, here we go, it's time to glow. And in a flash, they head off to light up the forest. I wanna go too, says Lucy. You're too small, says Grandma Firefly, but soon, you'll shine just like everyone else. And finally, after waiting and waiting, Father Firefly says to Lucy, tonight you can come out with us. Are you ready? You bet, she says excitedly. Along comes the night and says, here I am. The fireflies all get ready including Lucy. They wave their bottoms in the air, wiggle their feelers, take a deep breath and sing, here we go, it's time to glow. And in a flash, they head off to light up the forest. The little firefly looks around her, a giant light, like a great big firefly, is floating in the sky, round and bright. Suddenly, Lucy turns back towards her home, sobbing. That means that she's crying. What did she see? The moon. Do you think she knew it was the moon? No, I don't think she knew it was the moon either. What's the matter? Asks Father Firefly. I don't want to go out. My tummy hurts, says Lucy. Don't worry, you'll shine tomorrow, says Father. We all feel nervous sometimes. And he gives her one of those special kisses that makes everything right again. The following evening, Mother Firefly says to her, Lucy, it's time to shine. Are you ready? You bet, she says. Along comes the night and says, here I am. They all get ready and sing. Here we go, it's time to glow. And in a flash, they head off to light up the forest. The moon is still there, floating high in the sky. Lucy pokes out her head and then rushes home, sobbing. What's the matter, asks her mother. I don't wanna go, I'm tired. Don't worry, you'll shine tomorrow. It's all the excitement. It gets us all muddled, says Mother Firefly. And she gives her one of those special kisses that help you go to sleep. The following night, Lucy doesn't even want to look outside. I've got cramps in my feelers, she says. This is quite common in inquisitive fireflies. And Lucy is very inquisitive. That means she's very curious and wants to learn. It doesn't matter, says Grandma Firefly. You can shine just the same. I can, but I don't want to, says Lucy. My light is only tiny and it isn't any use. The great big firefly in the sky lights up the whole forest. What you see up in the sky is the moon, says Grandma Firefly. Then I want to shine like the moon, cries Lucy. Really? Then I'll tell you a secret, whispers Grandma Firefly. The moon 
only shines when the sun lights it up. Otherwise, nobody can see it. Lucy listens to her grandma and then peers up at the moon, shining in the sky like a beautiful jewel. Well, says Lucy, then we can't trust that big old moon, but my light is important. And with that, she flies off into the night as fast as her wings can carry her. In the big forest, when night falls, all of the fireflies shine away, just in case the sun doesn't feel like lighting up the moon. The end. So boys and girls, Lucy learns that she has to shine with all of her might and be special and unique. I hope that you enjoyed the story. Don't forget to think about your favorite part and draw a picture of it and share it with us. It was so good to see you boys and girls. Have a great rest of the day and I'll see you soon. Bye.